Hello and welcome to your digital classroom study with Sudhir. I am Tia Sudhir and today we have a guest and that's my daughter Tejaswini Uma Sudhir who appeared for the ICSC class 10 examination in the year 2019. And till today Tejaswini does not know where she lost those two marks in the maths paper. You were saying that you were going to get a hundred, you ended up with 98 and you still don't know where you lost those two marks. Anyway, so today what we are going to do is that I have got Tejaswini as a guest who will actually give you very very valuable tips for all you students who are going to appear in class 10 board exam in another couple of months from now on how to approach the mathematics paper very useful tips i can tell you i was discussing it with her in the morning and i thought all the students out there should definitely pay attention because these are important tips from someone who has gone through the entire rigmarole of appearing for the examination scored high marks and would want each one of you to also score 95 plus and preferably a hundred on 100 so let's get started they just mean looking at the paper pehla to ye hua ki isme do bhag rehte hain section a aur section b uske bare mein bataiye ki kitne prashn rehte hain section a mein aur kitne prashn attempt karne hote hain section b mein to section a mein hote hain char prashn aur wo charo prashn compulsory hai aur section b mein there are seven questions out of which you are supposed to attempt four questions so each question is 10 marks and each of those questions have four uh, have three to four bits with three three and uh, four and um, it's very important uh, that uh, uh, you attempt uh, four uh, questions all four questions in section a and four questions in section b out of seven okay so in the 15 minutes reading time which you have in the beginning where uh, you have to go through the entire paper i would suggest that you choose the questions uh, you would like to attempt attempt in section b mm -hmm. and uh, uh, in section A and B, uh, you have, you, uh, I would suggest you go through the questions, remember what type of formula you are supposed to use and uh, you know mentally have a, uh, uh, you, you know you know what you, you get an idea about what you are going to do. So uh, basically yes. um, what you are suggesting is that those 15 minutes between 10, 45 and 11 Very will, will be, should be used to decide which are the four questions you need to attempt. Maybe even an extra question, but definitely yes. those four which you'll attempt in section B. So, the, so what Tejaswini is saying is that the the 15 minutes are important to decide those four questions in particular because section A ke the chart question aapko compulsory attend karne hi hai in order to get those 40 marks. Now let's take a step back, Tejaswini, and talk about how to prepare. Which books did you prepare from? See, there are three principal books. One is R S Agarwal. Uh, and I, th I personally I feel it's the best that's what I uh, did it mainly from and uh, I think you need to do every exercise question as well as all the solved examples because hmm. that will enable you to cover each and every model and kuch chhoot nahi jayega so, koi bhi question aaye you will be able to face it so aapne ek to R.S. Agrawal ki book ke baat ki uske saath saath aur kaun se books hain maine concise se bhi prashn kiye kyunki i feel concise is slightly a level up and it will uh, suppose there are a little twisted questions in the examination you will be able to face this if you face it if you practice uh, concise so that's a very important tip so if you want to kind of be one step ahead of everyone else prepare from concise also because as Tejaswini is saying is it the level of difficulty in the concise book is slightly better than the RS and Agarwal. You have a lot, and if you have a lot of time you have done with you're done with RS Agarwal you're done with uh, concise I would suggest you do da Das Gupta as well because that will make you completely prefer prepared to face any uh, question in the examination. Okay so uh, is in pure do books ho ya ek book ho jitne bhi students cover kare usme is there anything that they need to um, do in particular solved examples bahut zaruri hai kyunki isme to aapko pata chalega ki how exactly the examiner expects you to answer and uh, which steps are necessary how many marks each step carries that uh, shows you that you know you need to uh, you can't skip steps you ye nahi hai ki if you get the answer you get marks that's not mm -hmm. how icsc works you need to write every single step. For instance, in questions like uh, uh, quadratic equations, problems, every statement needs to be cover, uh, written. For instance, uh, some age problem, you need to write, uh, let the age of the child be X, let the age of the uh, child, uh, uh, mother be Y, uh, how many times the age of the mother is greater than the child. Every statement needs to be written. So, it's uh, same goes with menstruation problems, volume and surface area, uh, it's the same thing. 
also in the examination paper uh, before you start solving the question it's important that you write the uh, uh, data that is given in the question paper uh, for example given you are supposed to write given uh, x is given as 3 y is given as 4 every information needs to be written so basically the moti moti baat ye hai ki aapko har step ko detail mein wahan par likhna hai each one of them also carries marks. Now, um, in the morning when you were discussing Tejaswini, you were also telling me about the rough work. Yes. About how you do the rough work is also very important in the entire ICSE format. Uske baare mein bataiye. Abhi rough work, what you need to do is that it's supposed you are supposed to draw uh, a line on the right side of your answer sheet. Yes. Very neatly, preferably Leaving with a pencil. Yeah. Don't use a red pen because that's what they use for correction. And uh, you, know, you write rough at the top and then do the rough work there because Suppose uh, you do a calculation, suppose 25 into 25, 625. Suppose you have 625 in a rough paper, mein, rough, uh, rough uh, work. And then somewhere in our tension, whatever it is, uh, God doesn't do it, but suppose 625 is written here and here is 525. Mark to gaya. But if you have written in the rough work, examiner tends to check the work. Also to see where you have gone wrong, the examiner has a tendency to check and it is possible that you get marks because it's, it can be the final step, right? So you will get marks for it, at least a half mark you will get. So, so what, you're say, what she is saying is that if there are say three steps to a process and if you have got the two steps right and in the last step careless mistake ho jata hai, if you have made an error and in the rough work you have got it right but in copying here on the main page you have made a mistake, it is possible that a more lenient a more kind-hearted examiner may actually consider that and give you marks. So, how neatly you do the rough work, rough work does not have to be untidy. Yeah. How neatly you do the rough work also can have a bearing on how you actually perform in terms of marks in the examination. So, this is a very useful tip from Tejaswini on how you should deal with the entire rough uh, uh, part of the answer sheet. It should be on the right hand side of the answer sheet as she mentioned. Then. Uh, 15 minutes ki to humne baat kar di. Let's now come to the ex attempting extras. Yes, if you're attempting... You attempted an extra? Yes, I attempt. I think I attempted the entire paper and I think that's the best thing to do because especially if you're well prepared and uh, because even if you make a mistake somewhere by chance, suppose in a, in a particular question you get 9, in another question you get 10 in the extra, they will, the examiner will count the extra question. So uh, that's the advantage of extras. The extras has to be done very neatly at the end after you've done all the compulsory questions, all the four questions in section B. After all that is over, that's when you do the extra. You write extra on top and then you do the questions very systematically, neatly. Okay, and uh, suppose you make a mistake somewhere in your question or suppose you're not able to factorize some uh, a particular equation. What do you do? You uh, do not waste time on uh, uh, trying to factorize. Hota jata hai. Suppose koi calculation nahi aa hai. You can't waste time on it because see, the duration of your exam uh, exam is two and a half hours. Those two and a half hours are precious. You can't waste time on a single question and forsake the entire paper in the process. So what you need to do is that you leave some space and then go to the next question and come back to the question. And if you're not sure about any answer, of course, attempt an extra. So, but ensure that uh, you leave enough space. As I say, two lines are left and you don't have to fit in that space. And it's not going to be a bit of a hole. As I say, leave enough space so that you can always return to that particular question. Now, uh, you also were mentioning about how you will deal with the, the graphs. Now, Ojai, that's an entire <coughs> question in section D. See, uh, I know many people uh, prefer not to attempt Ojai because you know it's a kind of complicated, uh, not really complicated, but you know you uh, intricacy, uh, intricacies are involved in it. But if you are uh, attempting an Ojai or uh, even any other graph question, scale likhna mat bhuliyega, because scale carries marks. Most important, write x axis, y axis and uh, mark your graph very carefully. What x axis indicates, what y axis indicates needs to be mentioned. Ojai, draw with a pencil, no overwriting and when you are drawing that curve, it has to be in one line. You can't, you know, dot dot join kar lo, fir join kar lo, aisa nahi hota hai, aisa nahi hota hai. You are supposed to join it together and use a pencil very lightly. Utna lightly ki examiner ko na dikhe, but do it neatly. Okay, fine. Okay, so those are important tips. Now let's look at, go beyond the paper, Tejaswini, and look at how 
students who are watching this video on study with sudhir would actually prepare for the mathematics exam so what is the first how i mean what should what should be I mean, <laughs> apart from the rs agrawal and the concise and the das gupta what other kind of material they should look at so that they can get a 100 on 100 in mathematics i am sure you must be doing it for every other subject 10 years board paper is a must all the 10 years and i am telling you do it with a time limit so that you know how much time you actually need to spend on every that's question. a very important tip do it with a time limit ki dhai main dhai ghante ka samay hai to clock kijiye aap table pe baithiye with the answer sheet with the with paper pen pencil everything and do it like a proper examination yes. no looking at any formulas yes. prepare well hmm. and then uh, uh, approach the each of the 10 year papers correct so i i would suggest that you do the entire paper like you do uh, section a section b extra sab kuch kar lo taki har question mein you are perfect to aur isme aap time kijiye so that you will also get an idea about how much time you are having for each question ek andaza ho jayega and that will definitely help you on the day of the examination itself iske sath sath abhi sabhi students ke vidyarthiyon ke pre boards chal rahe hain to they should definitely attempt the pre board examination papers not just of your school but agar aapke dusre dost hain jo dusre school mein padhte hain unse aap udhar lijiye ask them to uh, whatsapp you the papers of their, their examination papers of the pre boards look at their papers try to solve that the more you practice the more perfect you will become right yeah, that is something which we did and uh, there are not just in your city you could actually also source papers from uh, schools in other cities of india of the icsc board so that you can practice more and more so that you become absolutely perfect iske sath sath very important to do a post mortem of where you are going wrong kahan pe aap galtiyan karte hain karte hain us par bhi dhyan dena is very very important how do you essentially do that okay so then you uh, you need to look through your answer sheets of your say pre final 1 pre final 2 pre final 3 to see where exactly agar aapko full marks aa rahe hain to shabash agar aapne suppose aapko 98 aaya 97 aaya 87 aaya to kahan pe wo, uh, where are you making a mistake are you mis- making mistakes in formula or aap kya aap jaldbazi mein calculations mein mistake kar rahe hain you have to go through that okay um formula writing as you mentioned ob- obviously carries marks so that is something which you will really emphasize yes. that they need to look at very very uh, carefully yeah when you are writing an answer you are supposed to write the formula it carries marks uh, so uh, i i would suggest you in fact box the, uh, box your formula so that examination ka, ka dhyan jaye wahan pe aur he knows that you have written the formula and you get a mark for that even if your calculation is how wrong. how do you how do you box the formula i, I would suggest you use a pencil and just a normal square or uh, yeah. a normal gray pencil or a color pencil a normal gray pencil so normal gray pencil says so the final answer hai what tejasvini is suggesting is that you box it out yes. so that wo examiner ka dhyan jaye that okay this is the final answer yeah f- uh, your formula you are supposed to block and final answer because see there are many intermediate steps you get x is equal to 3 y is equal to 2 but finally jo question paper mein mang rahe usko box karna bahut zaruri hai kyunki you are emphasizing ki ye chahiye aapko aur maine ye de diya aap mere ko marks dijiye very important uh, thank you very much tejasvini for all this very important tips i am sure all the students watching this video will be very happy to know this practical tips on how to approach the preparation part and also the examination part which is very very critical agle 2 2.5 mahine are very critical for you for your teachers for your parents and these kind of tips which tejasvini will do as part of the teju ki patshala out here on study with sudhir on different subjects we'll also be doing it on chemistry in which you got 99 again she was expecting 100 she still doesn't know where she lost that one mark computer applications where she got a 100 physics where you lost some marks right 96 yeah last time it was a <laughs> yeah okay so uh, but we'll be looking at all the subjects physics chemistry uh, biology computer applications apart from the other subjects which were all already looking at english literature language history civics geography everything so hindi also so we will pretty much cover the entire syllabus as far as the icsc class 10 board is concerned because i would really want all the students looking at study with sudhir to really come out with flying colors so thank you very much for joining us all the very do, best do subscribe to the channel bol do do subscribe to the channel, channel so that you can get all the regular updates okay right thank you very much for joining